Yo, so it's me, just Jar, negative to positive. We've got your name again, bro. William no, Walker. Man. William Walker. He's going to tell us a little bit about, um, obviously, he's out outside Tesco's here, obviously. Just tell us how we got here and why he's here and stuff like that. So just tell us, bro, so where are you from originally, man? Well, I'm from Canterbury originally. Yeah. Um, I got married, moved to Bailey. Got married, yeah. Uh, moved to Bailey. I got uh, married, been married six years. I was in telesales and had a decent job. Yeah. Split up with wife, she's got out, uh, baby. Yeah. I've ended up on the ended up on the it's been home for six years now. Right, so, so, so slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. So basically, so you, you grew up from, you're from Canterbury. Yeah. Then you moved to Bailey with a missus. Yeah. And um, so how old were you at this point, like? I were about 31 when I first got married. How did your life start, though, way back in the beginning? At the beginning, it was all all right. Um, like, I, I, I never took drugs as a kid, it were, when I first turned 21. Yeah. That's when I first hit drugs. So what, what, what made you take drugs at yeah. like 21? What it was, it, what, the people I'm mixing with, I went to prison. I didn't know what um, spice and that was, I ended up with yeah. all that. I ended up on heroin. Did you, yeah, so you went to jail at, 20, at 21? Yeah, yeah. What was that like, going to jail for the first time? But first time I thought, oh, you see all this on the TV, the thing, yeah. it was just like a youth club. Yeah, it was yeah. somewhere, you know, where you get to a little team, yeah. you get to do stuff every day, it's the same thing. Yeah. But if, if, if it wasn't for prison, I'd have been dead now. Yeah, yeah. Same, similar thing happened to me. I went to jail when I was like 14, and I think if I wouldn't went to jail, then I probably would be. You learn a lot in prison, though, don't you? Yeah, you do. You so, learn a lot. so you were saying obviously you didn't touch drugs till 21. Yeah. So what, what drug did you touch at 21? Uh, heavy weed and crack. That was first. Yeah. Like, what did you uh, smoke? Did you smoke weed or what? Like, not, not even weed, straight on heroin. So fucking what took you to get straight on heroin? What? Something bad? I don't know. There weren't even people on the on heroin back then. Just, fuck it. Yeah, I came up to make in it and I started thinking it. I had two lines and I got addicted to it straight away, I just loved it. Are you still addicted now for all the years? I got off at everything, it's just a crack now as well. So you need to be a little yeah. bit better, isn't it? Since lockdown, heroin got shit, so yeah. that helped me a lot. Man. What jail did you go to when you were 20, in your 20s? Um, I've been in Doncaster, Hull, yeah. Lambie, Diabol. What have you been about then? Yeah, yeah. Diabol, shy, isn't it? I, I liked it, mate. Did you? Yeah, Jordy's. Uh, <laughs> no, Jordy's alright. Yeah. Fucking, I thought that jail was just. I don't know, I didn't, I didn't get like that. Lambie was the best jail. Lambie. I have been there. That's in Nottingham, isn't it? Yeah. You get to walk around in that. There's 24 of you on this day. Yeah. Drinking every night, getting pissed in that. Yeah, having good, good crack in there. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're in jail at 21 and you come out, and then, then what happens? We um, got in uh, work, started doing a bit of telly sales. Yeah. And then from there, ended up leaving that job, got locked up again for burglary. Right. right. And then, how long, how long did you get? How long did you get? Two and a half. Two and a half, yeah. yeah. Did it. Did it all. Ended half. up doing it all. No, ended up doing it all. Did recall it Yeah, yeah. No way. Were you still addicted to drugs at this point as well? Yeah, I'd never got off it then. It was only just recently that I got off it. Lockdown. Was it, yeah? Yeah. The, the gear that we're going now, it's not even gear anymore. Yeah, I, well, I went for a piss test in yeah. the police station and it yeah. came back negative. I thought, whoa, what am just I doing? Just recently. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's fuck, bro. Yeah. Like, obviously, I, I used to sniff coke a lot and I believe the coke that you sniff these days isn't even. It's like, no way, yeah. What the fuck are you sniffing, mate? Big scabs in, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. Know. It's just the drugs, man. people just take it, just the fun of it, that's all it is. It's, it's not right? a life. Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying, so you went back to jail, you did two and a half years. Uh, before you went to jail, you had a job, but then you went to what's happened, you come out after that two and a half. I came out, I was doing well, um, and that's when I got married. Um, so, 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 you met her, so you met her, so you met a woman? Yeah, it, yeah. I met her in a uh, place of work, and I were a team leader. You're team leader, yeah, uh, where yeah. were they at? Uh, the Tom Street. Go on. Uh, DSL. Go on, man. Uh, we, we were smashing targets every month, but they were looking yeah. after vets. Then my dad died of cancer, it just went downhill after so that. So slow it down, slow it down, so you've got a good job. You found a good missus. Yeah. Everything's going well. You off yeah. your drugs at this point? No, no. You're still dabbling. Yeah, she knew what was on it as well. I told her from there. But you're working well. Things yeah, going, yeah. you know, life's a little bit bad. Obviously, you have it. Then your dad dies. So, what, what, what was that like? Like, fucking, that was, sent you on a downhill? It, that sent me on down a bit. And then mum died six months after. And I just, I gave up after that. I just thought, what, what is the point? A living. Yeah. Fucking I've lost half my family through cancer. Fucking but it's like I can't carry on like this. Were well, you close with your mum and dad as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah. So then, so then that's happened, they passed away, you, you're going through that, so your addiction got worse, would you say? It got, got a lot worse. Yeah. It's only when the lockdown came that I just thought, no, I can't wake up, I need to sort myself out. Did you know, so you know that's happened, so even with the, with the missus and that, so boom, so now you fell out of there or what? Yeah, yeah. So that marriage, your marriage went, so your mum and dad died, your marriage, yeah. everything's gone basically. I see my daughter. So you've got a daughter as well? Yeah. She's, she's 10 now. Fucking hell, man. I ain't seen her for about six years. Maybe, maybe you need to sort it out. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, I 
seen him once in town, I thought, I can't let her see me like right, this, so yeah. I need to sort my life out, get myself back on track. You can do it, bro. Yeah. Just a minute. I've, I, I, I've, Thank you. I've been there myself, didn't it? You know, you're yeah. down, I feel like drugs. I'd seen my kid for six, seven months in and out of jail. I missed her growing up and all that. And then, bro, you know me anyway. I used to go yeah, to no, you know yeah, me, yeah. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. I've, uh, I've been there, innit? So it's fucking... It's no good, you can't sort yeah. yourself out though. There's more, you, it's people, more life it is. Yeah, you can spin it, you can do a spin even, it's never too late, innit? No, yeah. So, so, so what's happened is if everything's gone down and you've lost everything and then you've bad on drugs now. I just started sorting myself out, I've got off at every little bit, I've had a little year now. Um, I've had a few dealers pulling up or tested for me and I said, no, no, I don't want yeah. it. But, I've been off it this long, so yeah. it is time to sort myself so out. So you're doing well and you're yeah. missing out on yeah. everything now, man. No. You could say that's the worst one. It was. Well, I always said I'd never come off it, yeah. and it shocked me that I did get off it. So you've only got the crack to come off now. Yeah, and that's all it mind that anyway. Yeah. No medication to come off it. Well, uh, yeah. I can't even take drugs no more. They send me fucking eye growth back in. Lasers are coming out of fucking Yeah, but it's all the stuff they're mixing with it now. Yeah. It just gets a paranoid and everything. I don't know about like your brain, doesn't it? It's not even yeah. a good, good vibe. Like it's it. not a good vibe. Yeah. It's not at all. So, 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 what, so what you say now? So you sort yourself out. What, what, what you doing here? Now, come here. Are you homeless? Well, so what's still going homeless. On? Um, I've been stopping on someone's couch for the past three nights. Yeah. So that, that's picking up. I've been in touch with a company called Outreach. Right. I've heard yeah. of these outreach before. It's they supposed do a good to be job. all right. Are they all right? Yeah. yeah. Um, they've kept up to the word so far. They came to see me here, and yeah. now they're coming to see me hours later on. Right. So hopefully, they say we've been about two, or three weeks. There'll be a place. So maybe if you get your own place, you yeah, offer it yeah. yeah, so Get back into a job and that again. Yeah, because you've worked. I've had, it, I've had it all. I've had a decent job, house, everything. I just yeah. want it all back now. And it's time to start. You can't be nice fucking sofa serving this and that. No, I've been there no. myself, man. When you're relying on others, it's not nice being in the house and that. No, it's not. It's not. Because they don't, sometimes you think you feel a bit like you're yeah. in there invading yeah, their space. Yeah. Even though they don't mind you there, you just feel, feel uncomfortable. It's yeah. not your own, innit? It's not your own. Yeah. He's always asking, can you do something, can you get this, can you make a cup of tea, it's yeah. not nice. What would you say for like, um, you know, like people like, say like young kids and that, that are going to be fucking trying drugs and stuff like that, what advice could you, from your experience, yeah, of being addicted to drugs and that, what advice could you give them to say to them, listen man, it's fucking not worth it, like, you, basically you could have had everything, your wife, your kids, your house, you had it, like you said, you had it all. Yeah. I'd tell them to watch that train spotting, yeah. watch that, that, that just add it down to a tea. From how it goes, people having good jobs and that, and how yeah. quick it can go under. Yeah. People say it's, it's the best buzz in the world, it's not. It's a devil drug. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Ruins life, isn't it? Not? Probably ruins life. But at the end of the day, it can only get better in my life now. Yeah, yeah, because you've been down there. there. Yeah. yeah, same for me, mate. Don't like, look at me thinking I'm fucking up, I'm aware of us, remember? I know, I know. Fucking, you get down mental health and that. You know what I mean? You get down, then you can get back up. It's just it, getting back up, yeah. and it's just a bonus when you yeah. get back up. That's why that's why I take time out to chat to you as well, yeah. you know what I mean? I've made money from streets, you know what I mean? And I feel like fucking hell. You know, you, you, when you, it's that ripple effect, I might just pass you some out yeah. yeah. I don't know, look like you're saying you've lost everything, that kind of, you know what I'm saying? That ripple effect of it all. Of course it does, yeah. Take 10 minutes out yeah. to have a little chat with you, bro. Like, oh, that'd be the take, ten minutes, take 10 minutes out to have a little chat with you, and, do you know what I mean, bro? Like, and, Hopefully some kid or someone. But that makes a big difference as well, you know, when someone comes to sit next to you and just talks to you, it yeah. makes you feel human again. Yeah. Where, when you've been on streets for so long and you feel like not even worth living and stuff like that, it's yeah. awful. But yeah. since I've been homeless, I've met a lot of kind people yeah, and it's unbelievable how many kind people these out there. Yeah, but there's good people out here, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I look after you after this and you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I'll yeah. shout for you there and that. Yeah. Yeah. But listen, nice speaking to you anyway, yeah. bro, yeah? Yeah. And uh, check it easy and fucking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, anyone can change their life on at any time. They've got everything. Yeah. It's just nice that there's someone going around yeah. doing this and talking yeah. to people and that. That's what I do, bro. I've chatted to loads of people, bro, like yourself and yeah. like me or whatever. Do you know what I mean? And just spread a lot of like, people listening. Yeah. You, know, you, are, you are human. That's what I'm trying to show people. Like, you probably walk past look at us like piece of shit. So you all looking. You know what I mean? But they don't know you. Like, yeah, they, yeah. Don't know what you, they don't know about you. They all just think it's the same thing. Do you know what I mean? Like, they yeah. probably couldn't. They probably won't be alive. Some people now, I know guys that have lost their dads, yeah, and they've gone, like, they fully can't handle it. Yeah. I feel like at least you're still, you might not be in the best place where you've handled it and yeah. still here, do you know what I'm saying, bro? Do it. So, thank God for your blessings, because yeah, you're exactly. still here. Yeah. Yeah. You're off there, alone. So, do you know what I mean? Someone's looking over there. Someone's looking yeah. over there, you're not alone, innit? No. So, anyway, bro, thanks for speaking. Thank you. Alright, take it easy. Yep. Yeah. So, yo, it's me, uh, just jar negative to positive. Got Johnny here, yeah? yeah? Hello. Uh, 
Um, he sits at side here and he has the, if anyone wants to come and give him out, you know what I mean? Um, just going to have a quick chat with him. So, John, um, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Like, where did you come from originally? Like, originally back in the days as a kid and that? Grew up in Bailey. Grew up in Bailey, yeah? Yeah, yeah, grew up in Bailey. And then uh, my dad passed away and then we moved to uh, Whipsy. Whipsy, Lived yeah. in Whipsy. Wait, how, how old are you at this point? Uh, wow. 14, 15. 14, 15, yeah. Yeah. So what what, what else? Go on, keep going. And then uh, a couple of years went down the line, I met a girl. Right. And started living with her in Leeds. In Leeds, and, yeah. Where yeah. in Leeds were you living? Uh, Seacroft. Seacroft, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know like a end. police station it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, she was an alcoholic. And one day I went to go get her medication, come back, she had a nosebleed. Right. And she went to the kitchen and she had a bad hemorrhage. She bled from everywhere in the body. She died? Yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. So yeah. you've been through, your dad's passed away. Yeah. You fucking moved, moved a bit out of area, and you've met a girl, and she's passed away. Yeah, 2011, she passed away. Wow, man, I bet you're uh, fucked there. Yeah, bro. and then, and, and then what, what else? What council, going on? council kicked me out at place because I want on a tendency. Right, right. And that's what made me homeless. Been homeless ever since. Been homeless ever since then. So how many yeah. years have you been homeless? Uh, about 20 years now, on and off. 20 years on and off. On and off. So yeah. what's it like being living in the street for 20 years? Come on, let, uh, tell, tell them. Very that. hard. You, yeah, get yeah. Peop- you get good people and you get uh, stupid people, people. Yeah. who are coming along and spit you and piss yeah. on you. What, 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 before we get, what race are you? Are you full English you are? Well, I'm Scottish. I'm Scottish. Yeah, I'm Scottish, yeah. Yeah, my mum was Scottish. Scottish, yeah? Yeah, she come from Aberdeen. This year? Yeah. So you're almost now, for, so what, what's it been like on the streets then? Fucking horrible. Horrible, yeah, yeah. yeah. Freezing. Freezing. Well, where are you sleeping now? Over at uh, Bailey Church. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Vicky, give me a tent. Vicky, give you a tent? Yeah, tell me I could go in arch. Because yeah. he gets not open on arch. Don't they know? No. I help him out. I do grass cutting and all that lot. Yeah, yes. let me stay there. So, so, so you try to do your bit, don't you? Yeah. So, I, so as you're saying, so like, what about like your, your parents and that? Are they still alive or? No, my dad passed away when yeah, I was like, 15. Yeah. And my mum passed away two years ago. Didn't you go to school or all like that? Yeah, yeah. I went to a special school. Did you? Yeah, like, like, like for bad kids or? No, because I was dyslexic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, kept yeah, falling I, behind him. I, I, had, I had dyslexia myself. I had dyslexia myself. Yeah. 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 Kept falling back. Yeah. I went yeah. to Prue schools, me. Yeah. I went yeah. to White Manor. White Did Middle, you? White Middle School, yeah. Over in White. And then I went to Aycliffe Special School. Did you? Yeah, yeah. On Aycliffe here, near Grange. Yeah. Near Grange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I know you, me. I know yeah. you, me. So you've got disabilities and you're out on the street as well. Yeah. I suffer from epilepsy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you can pass out any time. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. People just don't understand, do they? I have a yeah. homeless team coming around. Yeah. No, we're just talking, we're mate. Just talking. We're not. Yeah. 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 She. I was talking to this guy. Yeah. 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 We're all right. We're just talking. We're not doing no criminal activities here. <laughs> but but tell them we're just talking. Tell them, Daniela. Tell them we're just talking. Go on, Armin, tell her. Yeah, so, um, sorry about that. We're getting interrupted. I think, yeah. we're, doing, I think we're doing an armed robbery, uh, me and John. Uh. <laughs> yeah, so, John, so you so said that was your school life. So, did you ever go to jail or all like that? Have you been to prison? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been to jail. What, what, what jail have you been to? I've been to Armley, Ramby. I've been to Armley. Yeah. What, Biggest what? sentence I've ever done was six years. Six years for what? Yeah, that was for uh, holding a shotgun. Holding a shotgun? Yeah. Like, like aiming at someone else, had it no, in your possession. Just in, we were just in the field, we were just shooting some cans. Oh, yeah. And uh, some, some woman seen us with it, reported us. <laughs> Did they, yeah? yeah? So I got done, went away for six years. Did you? What, so what was it like doing that six years? Were, were you clean? Were, so when did you get on drugs? Were you on drugs at any of this point now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started drugs when I was uh, 15. 15? What did you yeah. start at 15? Uh, I was smoking pot at first. Yeah. And uh, I went on to brown. Brown, yeah. So what would you say? Would you say the weed would have get where drug or, or, or fucking yeah, <laughs> death for yeah? Yeah. yeah? So what would it like taking heroin for the first time? It was alright. It felt good, but once you get a grip on it, man, yeah. every morning you wake up really poorly. I wish yeah. you could get. Yeah, I wish you could go back and stop it all. Right. Do you know, like back in your young days, though, yeah, like so obviously you. You've, you've been in jail and stuff like that, but what, what, were you like living a good life? Did you have? Uh, oh, yeah. Did you find was, a new missus after was, that missus passed away? Yeah, or? yeah. I started yeah. working. Did you? Yeah. Went going away with uh, two group people called Sunblasting. Right. Like power stations. Oh yeah. Yeah. So you had a decent job. Yeah. And you yeah. enjoy that and that. Yeah. But Shit, I, they led me up because I had an epileptic fit. Yeah. And 
Mm. I can't believe the the epileptic living on the streets, mate. My mates, well, my best mate, he he died now. Uh, Died in his sleep. And he's, he's, yeah, God rest his soul, yeah. And his sister, she passed away. She had an epileptic fit and died. You know what I mean? Mm. But it's... That's how serious it can be. You can have a fit and no swallow your tongue and stuff, yeah. can't you? Yeah, you can. can oh, choke on your tongue. <laughs> so, during your six year sentence, were you, were, you, were you taking drugs in jail or what, what were it like in your, in your prison sentence? Uh, yeah, we were taking drugs in. Oh, yeah, but were yeah. it a bit better though? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. man. Chilled out with that. Yeah, yeah, I get you, man. Yeah. So, like, so you've been, how long you been on heroin? How long have you been addic- uh, addicted to that? Since you were 15. Since you were 15. 15. Wow, man. So, how old are you now? Uh, 47. Fucking hell. 20 plus years, isn't it? 25 yeah. years, something like that. Yeah. Long time to be on it, yeah. innit? Have you ever thought about getting off or? Yeah, yeah I've been clean three times. Have you, yeah? yeah? Yeah. So when you say clean, like completely off, are you on like methadone or something? Yeah, methadone, yeah, I was on methadone and they weaned me off the methadone and went on to uh, Subitex. Yeah. How long were you clean for? Uh, three years. Three years, that's good, that. Yeah, three what years. were you doing in that three years where you were clean, uh, man? We were doing odd jobs. Yeah. yeah. Cutting grass and this stuff. So helping grass. people out. Yeah. See, that's what I mean. So you got a good eye. You always try to help people, aren't you, mate? Yeah. The guys, you still try to help the vicar now, aren't you? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Cut his grass, you still. Yeah, it's good, yeah. man. It's good, man. At yeah. least you try to do something to, yeah. to earn to learn a living, aren't you, mate? Yeah. So, like, so you're not, you're not on crack or all like that, just heroin? Just to heroin, yeah. Yeah, fucking hell. Yeah. Do you think you'll ever get off it now, or? Yeah, I went and on uh, some workers coming from. Yeah. Pop said they were going to put me back on my methadone script. Do you think? Do you think that? Do you think they're going to help? Do you think you can be helped now? Or? Yeah, yeah. There's never, it's never too late. No, That's what I want to no. tell you, mate. Because even me, yeah, I've been addicted to drugs, yeah, cocaine, yeah, mm. alcohol, partying, sniffing with birds mm. for days, sniffing, 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 get paranoid out of my head, do that fucking yeah. lasers coming through. Do you know what I mean, bro? And I'm all right now. I'm off it. My nose is running, running, yeah. thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. but, but, um, I'm, I'm off it now. Do you know what I mean, bro? Yeah. My life, like, ups and downs as well. Do you know what I mean? I've been in jail. I've been in Armley. I've been in Doncaster. I've been here, Bolt. I've been everywhere. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And now I try to turn my life around. And, do you know what I mean? I've sold drugs. And I, I, feel, I see, like, the ripple effect in it. Do you know what I mean? Like, you might break it down the door and it goes to the street, bro. It pauses. Look, like, you, you, might, you might get a shot that I've put on the street, have a fit and die. Like, I've. Do you know what yeah. I mean? In yeah. that, do you know what I mean? In certain people's eyes, if you believe in God or not, like it's a ripple effect to that stuff. Do you know what I mean, bro? Yeah. So it's been nice having a little chat with those. But what yeah. would you say? Like, could you give some advice? Obviously, you've been addicted to drugs for what twenty years. Twenty years. And you've been out on the streets for twenty years since you lost your missus. God rest her soul as well. You know, I bet yeah. that earlier. But what what advice could you give to like a younger generation to like? Do you know what I mean? Is that from experience, man? Experience. Just don't take it, man. Don't take it. Once it grips you, it grips you. Yeah. Yeah. But I only take it to get away, not take away my worries, but yeah. People sit around and say, next day, mate, they're there stuff. So yeah. basically, you take it thinking it's going to take away your worries, then the yeah. next day, you're just fucking even worse. Even worse. Yeah. Fucking hell, mate. Yeah. I won't give it to my worstest enemy. <laughs> you won't give it to your worstest enemy? No, mate. That's well, what I mean, and that's coming yeah. from a guy, John, with fucking 20, 25 years' experience with smoking this. Yeah. And he's out on the streets now. You basically, you, from that drug, you've probably lost a lot of things in it, bro. Listen, we lost a lot of family. Yeah. What talk to you, man? Family, what talk to you? Lose it all. But yeah. you know it's bro? You're still here. Yeah. Yeah. And you still try to do good by helping that vicar and helping people and doing odd jobs. You know what I mean? So, yeah. do you know what I mean? Someone's looking down. You're still alive, mate. You yeah. fucking survived 20 years on the streets, freezing. Yeah. I can't fucking survive fucking two days these days without no fucking gas. Never mind yeah. 20 <laughs> years on the streets, freezing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, bro? Sleeping in graveyard in a tent bro yeah you get me but yeah. so you're definitely blessed you get me yeah. it's never yeah. too late for all mate and uh, i have good people who come on at night time and give me a meal i had yeah, a chicken dinner me. last night <laughs> yeah nice mate yeah. now i know where you are i'll pop and see you and i look after you now but i don't like to give people stuff on camera you know after yeah, yeah. this i'll sort you out bro yeah, yeah, you know what i mean it hopefully yeah. helps you out for a day innit? yeah and um yeah john man thanks for coming on and speaking to me bro yeah, yeah anytime man respect anytime. Me, bro yeah all right